Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a more advanced problem using the midpoint formula. Given points A at negative 3 comma 2 and M 4 comma negative 1, find point B so that M 4 comma negative 1 is the midpoint of segment AB. For visual I have used GeoGebra, a software program that you'll learn more about to input those points negative 3 comma 2 and M at the midpoint at 4 comma negative 1 and you can see here what we're trying to find is point B. What, what are the coordinates of this point? Now the way I drew it on GeoGebra you can kind of see that it's going to be at negative 11, negative 4 but we're not going to use graphing methods to try to solve this. I want to show you how you can solve this problem algebraically. So to solve this algebraically, the most important thing we're going to need is the midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula, if you recall, is given by x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and just to kind of clarify what these points are solving for, it's going to solve for x and I'm going to use subscript m for x and y as the midpoints of the values of x where a is x1 comma y1 and b is x2 comma y2. So in this problem, we have that a, negative 3, comma, 2, will be our x1, y1. And m, that's going to be the midpoint values. So 4 and negative 1 is the x, m, y, m in my formula right there. So what we're trying to find then is the value of b. So what is this coordinate going to be equal to? Now let's try to set this up to solve. All right, using the midpoint formula, we have that x1, we still need to be able to see that there. All right, so the midpoint formula. x1, we have negative 3, and x2, that's the coordinates of b, we don't know. So I'm going to put x2 there over 2. And then I'm going to do comma the y coordinates. So the y coordinates, it looks like for y1, we have the value of 2 for the point A. And y2 is still unknown to us. That's part of the b coordinates equals the coordinates of the midpoint. So we're given that m is 4 comma negative 1. All right, now the first, on the left side of that comma, this is only talking about x's. So, and then the second part after the comma is only talking about y's. But what we're going to do is combine those pieces of information. So here we have that negative 3 plus x2 over 2 is equal to the value 4 from the midpoint. And for the y coordinates, we can see that 2 plus y2 over 2 must equal negative 1 according to the formula. So we have two separate problems that we're just going to solve out and simplify. Now to solve this we are going to need to first start by multiplying 2 on both sides of the equation. So I'm going to take this whole quantity here, multiply by 2, and have to do that on the other side. So the 2's cancel out on the left and I have negative 3 plus x2 is equal to 8. And continuing to solve, we get that x2 is equal to 
11. All right, and then over in the green, I have to also multiply both sides by 2 to cancel that out. And then on the right side, multiply by 2. That gives me 2 plus y2 is equal to negative 2. Uh, now we have to subtract 2 from both sides. And I get that y2 is equal to negative 4. So this tells me then that the coordinates of B, the other endpoint of my segment AB with midpoint M, is 11 comma negative 4. And if you remember, when we were looking at the GeoGebra drawing, the value of B, we said, would have to be 11 comma negative 4. And we've just seen how you can solve that algebraically. Thank you for watching. And here is your problem that you can try at home now on your own. Thank you. Good luck.